Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. In today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the fancy floral dishcloth. So let me start with the dishcloths. Here is the first one. These are all made the same, only using different colors. And yes, I still have my ends on the back. I didn't weave them in yet. I just got my samples finished and look how pretty. These dishcloths were made using the Premier Home Cotton in white and those beautiful splash colors. And I'll tell you all the colors that I used for these dishcloths. So let me tell you about the yarn I used and then I'll tell you the colors for each dishcloth. I used the Premier Home Cotton. It comes in a 96 yard skein, 88 meters, 1.94 ounces, 55 grams. It's 85% cotton, 15% polyester. It is machine wash and dryable. Now the specialty colors have less yardage. The solid colors have an additional yardage in the skeins. The solid colors come in 131 yards, 120 meters, 2.65 ounces, or 75 grams. So you can make this using solid colors. If you want a solid color instead of the splash colors, you would get more yardage. But it's all up to you. I just love these splash colors. So the first dishcloth here, I used white as my my main color and then this one I use the pink this is a number four medium weight yarn they all are it's color flamingo splash color 44-24 for the pink one the blue dish cloth I use this beautiful blue and this is ocean splash color 44-27 look at that blue so pretty for the yellow dishcloth, I use Sunshine Splash, this beautiful yellow. It's color 44-65, and these are the same colors that I used in the matching dish scrubbies. Now, for the dish scrubbies, these are two sections. We work round one through three of the dishcloth, and then you make two of those, and then we join it together with this simple little border. Now, you can make these as a coaster. You can just make it one piece instead of two. So when you go like this, you can see there's two pieces joined together by the border, or just make one and make beautiful summer coasters. It's all up to you of what you want to do. Now I'll put links directly to the Premier Home Cotton if you want to use the same colors as I did. You can pick up your yarn at PremierYarns.com. I'll have a referral link if it's your first time ordering Premier Yarns. If you use that referral link, you can save 10% off your first order. So let me show you what color I'm using for today's crochet tutorial. I am using the white. Again, this is color 38-01. And then I chose this beautiful spring green splash, color 44-66. So again, you're going to need one skein for your main color and then a second skein for your accent color. You're also going to need a size I-9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our project started. So now we're ready to begin our project. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn to your hook. Now I wanna remind everyone all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now when I start, I always leave a small length. This is about four or five inches. And then I'm going to use this to tighten my stitches after I get round one finished. We're going to skip the first three chains, insert into the fourth chain, and then slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook we just made a small ring. Then I use this piece of yarn and I keep it right up against my ring 
and work it all the way around and work my stitches through the center of the ring and around the strand. That way, after I make my stitches, I pull on the end of the string and it tightens up the center ring. So we're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now this beginning chain three does not count as a stitch. This is going to act as a filler so there's no gap in our work. We're going to work a total of 16 double crochet into the center of the ring. You're going to yarn over, insert into the center of the ring going from front to back, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. I'm going to keep my starting strand of yarn right up against my ring, double crochet back into the center of the ring. That's two of 16. Double crochet back into the center of the ring, making sure that you're going over this strand. Work your double crochet. That's three of 16. Double crochet back into the center of the ring. Four of 16. Let's do it one more time together. Double crochet into the center of the ring. That is five of 16. So go ahead and continue and work 11 more double crochet stitches and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one. We have our beginning chain three that does not count as a stitch and then you should have 16 double crochet around. So to join, we're going to skip our beginning chain three. This just helps as a filler, so it closes that gap. We're going to insert into the top of that first double crochet stitch, going under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished, so what I do is I take this strand of yarn and I just pull it, and it closes the center circle up. Then you can go ahead and weave that end in going in the opposite direction with your yarn needle and then bring it back a second time and if it's long enough even go through a third time. So now we are done with this color so we are going to fasten off. I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And then you're just going to weave this in, bringing it down through the stitches and weaving it back and forth down here at the base of round one. So now you're going to grab your white and we're going to begin round two. For round two, I am using my white. I have it attached to my hook. I'm going to go back to our first double crochet where we slip stitched. Remember this chain three is not a stitch. We're going to go into the top of that joining stitch, that first double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on my hook. And this just helps make a nice secure join of your yarn. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now this beginning chain three does count as the first double crochet. We're going to double crochet back into that same stitch. Now we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work two double crochet. One, and two. Work two double crochet into the next stitch. One, and two. Work two double crochet into the next stitch. One, and two. So go ahead and continue and work two double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. 
I'm over at the end of round two. We work two double crochet in each stitch around. You're going to have a total of 32 double crochet. So now we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that beginning chain three, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on our hook. Round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three. For round three, you're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. You're going to work a front post double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over, you're going to insert from the side of the stitch from front to back, and then bring your hook from back to front. You're just going underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Then make sure you pull that stitch over so you can see the next stitch. And then you're going to start the repeat. You're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch under the top two loops. Work a double crochet. Then you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back on the side of the stitch, and then bring your hook from back to front. You're just going underneath the post of the stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Let's do it a couple more times together. Double crochet into the top of the very next stitch. and then front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of the stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to continue and you're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. and front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue and work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch and a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. We started with our chain three then a front post double crochet, and then you worked a double crochet into the top of the next stitch, front post in the top of the next. Your stitch count should be 32 stitches around, and now we're ready to join. We're going to come up and we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round three is finished. So if you want to make the dish scrubber, then you're going to repeat from the beginning of the video until you complete three rounds. So you're going to do this as many times as you want. For a coaster, you make one piece. For a dish scrubber, you would make two of these pieces. So I'm going to continue with the dishcloth, but if you want to make the dish scrubbers, this is the tutorial for the first three rounds for the scrubber. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to put that together. So now we're going to continue on with our dishcloth. So for round four, we're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to double crochet back into that same joining stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. Insert into the next stitch, work two double crochet. One, and two. Go to your next stitch, work two double crochet into the top of the next stitch. One, and two. 
Go to your next stitch and work two double crochet. One, and two. So go ahead and continue and work two double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. You're going to have a total of 64 double crochet around your work. Now we're going to change colors, so we're going to join and attach our new color. So you're going to insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three. And now we're going to attach our new color. So instead of just pulling my yarn through, I like to attach it and tie it to my string, my working strand. So I just tie a double knot. And then I just slide my new color down to my work, right against my work. And then you're just going to flip this back over. You're going to keep your white attached because we're going to use it in the next round. So we're going to drop the white, pick up your new color, and then pull your new color yarn over and just pull it through that stitch and pull it through your loop on your hook. This way it's finishing the stitch with white and then your new color is ready for round five. So for round five, we're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. The beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next stitch, yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Now we're going to begin our repeat. You're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch, yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, yarn over, pull underneath and around, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it one more time together. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath and around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. Your stitch count is going to remain 64 stitches. You have your beginning chain three, a front post double crochet, and then you repeated a double crochet in the top of the next stitch, front post in the next stitch, and you worked around. So now we're going to join, but we're going to change colors. So you're going to insert into the top of the beginning chain three, one, two, three, insert into that top chain. You're going to drop your green, and then you're going to pick up your white, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then I always take my green and just tighten that up a little bit. And then just take your green and then just pull that a little bit tighter, just so it's not real loose. We're going to begin round six by chaining one. Now this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. 
So for round six, we need to increase by two stitches. So we're going to begin and we're going to work one single crochet into this first stitch. Then we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, going under both of those top two loops, work one, and then two single crochet all into that same stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next 30 double crochet stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one single crochet into the next stitch. That's two, three, four, five. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet in each of the next 25 stitches and I'll meet you there. I just worked my additional 25 single crochet around. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning single crochet, two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next 30 stitches. So now we want to do one more increase right in the next stitch. So insert into the next stitch, work two single crochet, one, insert back into that same stitch, work your second single crochet. So now we're going to finish by working one single crochet in each remaining stitch around. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, continue and work one single crochet in each stitch around until you get to the end of round six and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your dishcloth should look like and now we're ready to join. So we're going to change colors. So we are going to insert our hook into the top of that first single crochet stitch under the top two loops and then you're going to pick up your accent color Yarn over, pull through that first single crochet, and pull through the loop on your hook. So we are done with the white, so I'm just going to flip my work over. I'm going to fasten off my white, and I like to leave a longer length just so I can weave it in. I'm going to take my green here, and I'm just going to tie a double knot. I like to tie double knots because if you're using these for dishes, you're going to be really using it hard, moving it around, scrubbing those dishes. You don't want your ends to come apart, so I always like to tie knots. I'm a knot tire. I just want my work to stay together. So to begin round seven, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work six double crochet back into that same joining single crochet. Yarn over, insert into that first single crochet, work six double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So when you look at your work, your beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet, and then you should have six more double crochet. So you want to make sure that your stitches are pulled back. We're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to skip the next two stitches, and you're going to start your repeat into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, you already skipped these two stitches, you're going to insert into the next stitch, work seven double crochet. One, 
to three four five six and seven. You're going to skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you end the repeat by skipping the next two stitches and starting the next repeat in the next stitch. So let's do the repeat one more time together. You're going to yarn over. You already skipped two stitches. You're going to start your repeat into the next stitch and work seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you end the repeat by skipping the next two stitches and starting your repeat into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue. You already skipped these two stitches. Work seven double crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches. Slip stitch in the next stitch. And then skip two stitches. You're going to repeat that around. And I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your dishcloth should look like. And when you get to the end, you end your repeat by skipping those last two stitches. We're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three. So your first chain is down here. Count up one, two, three. Insert into the top chain. Slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So our dishcloth is finished. So we're going to fasten off. Again, I chain two. Pull my hook up yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. And then you just want to weave your ends in on the back of your dishcloth, matching the yarn to the stitches. Take it down through the stitches across. If it's long enough, bring it back through a second time. Turn and go back through even a third time if your end is long enough. Now your dishcloth should measure anywhere between eight and a quarter and eight and a half inches. So you can get creative with your dishcloth. You do not have to make it in two colors. You can make every round a different color. You can use three colors, four colors, or even just one color. It's all up to you. But I just thought that was a pretty design. So now let me show you how to make the scrubber. So now to make your scrubby, you want to go back and click on the beginning of the video and you want to repeat rounds one through three and fasten off. You're going to need two pieces for each scrubby. Now if you want to make coasters instead of putting these two together and matching stitches and crocheting around, you can just follow the instructions and put the border around just one piece and you can use it as a coaster. But we're going to make a scrubby. So again, click back on the video and you're going to repeat rounds one through three and then fasten off. So now since you have your two pieces made, we're going to grab our accent color that we used for round one and we're going to put our border on. Now I already have my accent color attached to my hook. We're going to take our two pieces. You're going to turn one over so the wrong side is facing. And then you're going to take the next piece so the right side is facing you and lay on top of the other piece. So you're going to have wrong sides together right sides are facing out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to insert our hook in any stitch and then you want to match it to any stitch on the back, on the bottom piece. You're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. And then I just pull this to the back and then we're going to chain one 
and then we're going to work three single crochet back into this stitch matching it to the stitch in the back work three single crochet one two and three then you're going to pull those stitches over look for your next stitch and you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then match it to the next stitch on the bottom piece yarn over pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook you're going to go to your next stitch this is the start of the repeat insert into the next stitch match it to the next stitch below work three single crochet one two and three now make sure that when you're working these three single crochet it doesn't cover up that next stitch always make sure that you're pulling your work back and looking for the next stitch insert into the next stitch match it to the next stitch on the bottom piece and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook insert into the next stitch match it to the stitch below and slip stitch through both of those stitches through both thicknesses and that is the end of the repeat let's do it again insert into the next stitch match it to the stitch below and work three single crochet one two and three insert into the next stitch match it to the stitch below and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook and you can see how it's forming that pattern let's do it one more time together insert into the next stitch match it to the next stitch below work three single crochet one two and three insert into the next stitch match it to the stitch below I'm here at the joining stitch where I have that knot so it might be tight where the knots are yarn over pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook and that is the end of the repeat so you can see how it's joining our scrubber together it's joining those two pieces together to make it thicker so go ahead and continue and work three single crochet into the next stitch matching it to the stitch below and then slip stitch into the next stitch matching it with the stitch below repeat that around and i'll meet you at the end of round four of your scrubby I'm over at the end of round four we end with the slip stitch into the last stitch and now we're going to join in the top of that beginning single crochet insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch yarn over pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook so we are done with our scrubby so I'm going to fasten off I chain two one two pull my hook up yarn out grab pinch and pull down i'm just going to thread this on my yarn needle and then i'm just going to poke it down through and take it right down in these green stitches and then if you want to because this is a little short I just run my yarn needle in and out through the base of these stitches and then if it's too short just thread it back on your yarn needle and then just pull it through those stitches pull it a little bit tight and then just trim off the end and then you just want to do that with the other one on the back side again make sure you take it down through the green and just run it right between the two pieces bring it up in the green on the bottom because this is short I take my yarn needle out I just run it through a few of those stitches and then just re-thread it back on your needle so you can pull it through the stitches 
and then just pull it through and then just trim the end. So our dishcloth is done. This is what it looks like. That's the front and that's the back. And then our little scrubber is finished. That's the front and then the back looks the same as the front. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So I also want to remind everyone I have 25% off all my crochet patterns on my website and in my Etsy shop until February 29th. Just use the code CROCHET25 at checkout using all capital letters to save 25% off your order. So thank you everyone for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this crochet tutorial. And until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.